What is up witches and wizards, muggles and nomads, I'm Animagus and today we're going to be going through the next brilliant event which is actually Lost Love Part 2. I'm going to be breaking down all of the quest steps that you need as well as where you can find the foundables and a few helpful tips and tricks that will help you get through this thing pretty quickly. Now I just got done at the dentist so if I start to drool I'm sorry uh, my face hurts so let's go ahead and get started on this event. Again, of course, it should really go without saying at this point, but Orange Wizard provides all the graphics. The link is down in the description below. Go support uh, their Instagram account and all that good stuff. Really good graphics as per usual for this event. And we're going to talk about the foundables first. So you will actually have a couple of wild encounters, one being Severus Snape himself. He'll be trapped in a glass bottle and uh, we'll be able to place those images it will require 15 and once you place those images just like last week with Minerva McGonagall you actually get potion bonuses this week as well and the potion bonus that will be going with Snape is that the stamina percentage healed in healing potion usage is going up from 35%, which is where it usually sits, up to 50%. So once you place a sticker, or once you put Snape in your registry, you will actually have a 50% bonus. It will heal for 50% instead of 35%. Next, we have the Mirror of Erised. That is a wild encounter as well. You'll be using Flipendo to knock back the troll trying to look in or take the mirror. Uh, then there's a Vase of Lilies that you'll be rewarded from the 3km port key. And much like the last week, when instead of uh, 2.5 times Barufios, this actually bumps up Barufios to 45 minutes. So it's not going to be 30 minute potion, it'll be 45 minutes once you uh, post those Vase of Lilies. Next, you have Snape's Cauldron and the Infusion of Wormwood, which are both event tasks. Uh, you'll get those from going over the steps that I will talk about in just a second. And then, of course, the photograph of Lily and Severus that actually never happened, and they just took it straight out of the movie. But this is something you can find in Fortresses, and it will make your um, amount of spell casts when you use like potent stimulo potions instead of five, which is what it is usually, that will bump it up. To six. So now that you know what your foundables are, where you can find them, and what those bonuses look like, let's go over all of those tasks. Again, of course, provided by none other than Orange Wizard. For step one in part two of Lost Love, you will be picking up two Potent Stimulo Potion ingredients, brew two Potent Stimulo Potions, and return three Brilliant Mirror of Erisets. After you do that, you'll get 50 Brilliant Family XP, 150 Wizarding XP, and your bonus rewards will be 150 XP, two Restricted Section Books, one Unicorn Hair, four Snowdrop, and one Wormwood Potion ingredients. And I know what you're saying, you're like, but Matt, it didn't work last week, the potion ingredients were so hard to find and I know and I agree with you they they weren't doing what they were supposed to do the the feature didn't work the way it was supposed to and they are very aware of that um, I talked to phases and she has passed along to the development team and they have been squared away so to speak for this particular event so the good news is this next week it should work so that's kind of a big should so hopefully it does and it will be a lot easier to find those ingredients once you are looking for those ingredients in order to find those potent stimulo ingredients uh, you're going to need bitter root uh, rain blood unicorn hair and snowdrop so those are going to be the things that you're looking for on the ground when you're looking for those potent stimulo potion ingredients on to task number two you're going to use those potent stimulo potions two times pick up three healing potion ingredients and unlock three port key portmanteaus which shouldn't be too crazy uh, for you know using adventure sync when you complete that, you will get a total of 400 Wizarding XP and two Dittany Potion Ingredients. The bonus rewards for that step are going to be 100 Wizarding XP, 45 Brilliant Family XP, three Restricted Section Books, one Infusion of Wormwood uh, Registry Page Sticker that I just mentioned a second ago, and one Potent Extemulo Potion. On to step number three. When you uh, get to step number three, you'll have to brew four healing potions, use healing potions six times in challenges, and then return seven brilliant Severus Snapes. Your rewards for that will total 500 wizarding XP and one powdered dragon claw potion ingredient. After that, your bonus rewards are 250 XP, 50 more brilliant family XP, five more restricted section books, and one silver key. Um, so one thing that I'll be doing before the event starts uh, is I will pick up, I'll start brewing two potent stimulo potions and then I'll 
after that I'll brew two healing potions and then brew two more probably in the rental cauldron and just kind of let them sit there until I need to pick those up. That's always my advice is brew beforehand. It'll save you a ton of time and you'll make sure that you can get straight to the bonus assignment fast because that is, I mean, that's going to be the hardest part of this whole thing. So once we're done with step number three, we're going to go on to the last step of this particular event. Of course, the last step is use Barufio's Brand Elixir two times for one silver key, defeat 10 foes and wizarding challenges for 55 brilliant family XP, and use five brilliant runestones in challenges. Uh, and that's any brilliant runestones, it would appear. It could just be for this event, but it looks like if you have extras and you don't want to throw these away for whatever reason you can, I guess. Uh, and that's for two red spell books. Once you complete the entire fourth step, you'll get 1,000 wizarding XP, 50 gold pieces, five restricted section books, one uh, registry sticker that is for Snape's Cauldron, and then you get a really cool Snape-themed little frame for your portrait. Now, of course, just like all the other events in recent history, we have a bonus assignment. And the bonus assignment is as follows. Unlock 10 port key portmanteaus for 2 hermit crab shell potion ingredients. Return 30 brilliant foundables for 1 Barufio's brand elixir. Brew 12 potions for another really cool little portrait frame sticker. And use 15 potions for two potent extemulo potions. Um, I don't, I don't know if I like the the reward for unlocking 10 port keys. The two hermit crab shells kind of seems like it's laughable, I guess, when you when you consider the work that it actually takes to put into to the port keys. Um, my advice for you for this is to go ahead and empty your slots and try to grab 10 port keys before community day ends because they're only two kilometers and they'll be dropping horn serpent eggs. Uh, that will be you know something you can kind of hold on to maybe once you've prestiged your page and something you can look forward to pushing to that next frame. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that reward, but it's you know something that you can knock out fairly easily with those two kilometer eggs uh and two kilometer eggs two kilometer poor key portmanteaus in uh conjunction with adventure sync the bonus rewards for finishing the bonus assignment is going to be 2000 wizarding xp 100 brilliant family xp which will guarantee you a runestone and three red spell books and then we cool cool little achievement badge you get there at the end as well that has the potions coming out of it which is pretty neat uh, something that I did want to point out when I was starting to look at this is it appears as though there is a potion in here popping out of this cauldron that we've never seen before in the game and I'm gonna speculate and say that that's wide eye potion and I, I don't know if that's a nod potentially at a potion that's supposed to be in the game or that could be in the game which I think is really cool but just on first glance and looking at these tasks that's what I saw so I think that's pretty cool uh, of course I do want to go ahead and go over the bundles as well there's a free complimentary bundle that will give you a three unicorn hair and 25 spell energy uh, and that's for free which is great there's an also an SOS bundle that comes with uh, 15 silver keys and 100 spell energy a brilliant bundle that comes with 10 potent extemulo potions and five Barufio's Brain Elixir for 900 gold, and then the bonus bundle once you get to the bonus assignment. 10 Silver Keys, 15 Potent Extemulo Potions, Barufio's Brain Elixir times 10, and 150 Spell Energy for 2100 gold. So those look like a pretty good deal. Um, if you've got the coin laying around, I don't see why you wouldn't you know, want to spend it on something that could get you uh, where you need to go. So that is all I have for this particular brilliant event, guys. What are you most looking forward to? I know that I love the story bits and pieces like a lot of it's sort of left to suggestion and we don't really have a whole lot of story right now uh, but I am hoping that that continues to grow I mean this lost love event has has been like tugging at my heartstrings a little bit just thinking about McGonagall and thinking about Snape and the the lost love and the the missed opportunities you know uh, so I definitely want to know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Let me know what you think about this event. Do you think that the rewards are justified? Do you think that they're good? Do you think that they're poor? Uh, let me know just everything about everything down below. I love to hear your guys' feedback and interact with you all. So of course, make sure you like this video. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you can become the first in the know when I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.